<laughs> That's a cool image. Got a fucking queen right here. <laughs> See if that stays up. Uh, damn, this shit don't exist anymore. But yeah, there's a new Alien movie coming out in a little less than two weeks, so I wanted to go through the series and talk about it. Because Alien's one of those franchises where, like, there's a lot of video games based on it, and a lot of them are pretty cool. Kind of like Star Wars. A lot of parallels to Star Wars, I think. Oh yeah, published by Sega. But yeah, years ago I played this, I did the uh, Crew Expendable DLC. You can pick Ripley or Dallas, but in context it's like Dallas's story where he goes through the fucking uh, air ducts and shit or whatever. <laughs> the surprise alien gets him. See, we can do it on Nightmare. I did the other one on Nightmare. Yeah, I remember this game getting bad reviews. Although, to be fair, I tried to play the main game. And it, like, didn't really hold my interest. But the DLC is really cool because they got all the old actors and shit. Yeah, I'm hopeful for the new movie. I like Fede Alvarez, like I said. I like that Evil Dead remake he did. I'm coining it. This is a new f movie type of soft remake instead of a soft reboot. Where it's like. I'm gonna blow up the ship. The Take like. Chances in the shuttle. Remake certain scenes Dead. and it'll like follow the same story. Kind of like a reboot, but. Like I said, like it'll have Parker. the same like story beats and like recreate certain scenes. Ready. Instead of like a new pot. <coughs> this is cool. Yeah, Aliens like Star Wars because it has that, like, you know, uh, uh, <laughs> analog vibe. There's, like, CRTs and keyboards and shit. movie it's pretty much a masterpiece I would say I think maybe one of the only criticisms is like people nowadays might think it's too slow or it kind of like drags on a little bit because there's a lot of loving like corridor shots and shit <laughs> oh my God. but the set designs so like amazing kind of makes sense <laughs> the fucking chick, Lambert. Oh god! Oh. <laughs> She's fucking worthless, dude. <laughs> Damn, she's just like squealing. Parker? Lambert? Doing the horizontal mamba. really new voice lines it kind of sounds like it's from the movie so corny I was thinking about doing a top 10 like like when I was a kid crushes 
I don't think she would have been on it. Because, like, uh, in Ghostbusters, she's, like, kind of sexual, but I really didn't think she was, like, super hot until, uh, whatchamacallit, Galaxy Quest. Can I crouch? Oh, okay. Why did they tell me that? I guess I'm supposed to know the controls <laughs> since it's DLC. But yeah, right from the beginning, I think the title sequence is pretty great. With how the letters like come in. <laughs> and there's like a Saturn like planet. I'm really trying to hint that that was where they're from. I know early on he like wanted to do the Prometheus style origin. Fucking Ridley Scott, dude. He's gone off the rails lately. <laughs> But he fucking nailed it with this one, dude. It was released in 79. That was the same year as uh, Mad Max, I think. Post Star Wars movies. Am I going in circles or what? Look at the TV. Uh, I think uh, the score kind of gets underrated. Jerry Goldsmith. There's that one cool, like, where it's like, -na 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 -na, when they go uh, onto the planet. That's where it came in from, right? What the fuck, dude? Where's the alien? trying to play and talk and I can't figure out where to go. Okay, so this was where I go down here. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I like Carradine Stanton and Yafa Koto. They're like the closest thing to like comic relief in the movie. I like when they first wake up and they have like Lambert? that big round table. Lambert. And they're like fucking Parker. slapping each other. <laughs> playing grab ass. And they're always talking about, like, how they want full shares and shit. Full shares of the money. There's that funny part when they go down to the planet. And, uh, they have to fix some shit. And Ripley's down there, and there's, like, air and shit spraying. So it's, like, hard to hear. And they're, like, fucking with her. It's like, you know, we, we want our full shares if they find that thing. And it's like bad ADR, but she's funny in it. But like she thinks they're just like bitching, but then she realizes they're like fucking with her. <laughs> oh shit. Oh no. Oh, fucking bitch. Damn, I didn't even have a uh, And yeah, Ian Holmes really great too. There's a... There's cool parts like when you know he's a fucking synthetic or whatever. Like they have little hints of it throughout the movie and there's like a, there's one part where uh, they first get the distress call and like they're all bitching about like not being, uh, having to be contracted to like go find an SOS. Yafa Koda's bitching <laughs> uh, Parker in a and uh, Ian Holmes like explaining like you know you'll you'll breach your contract if you don't go down there you have to you know go check this shit out and uh, Dallas says uh, will you listen to the man and and Ian Holmes gives him like a fucking side eye <laughs> like don't insult me calling me a man uh, I thought that was like some really nice acting I remember as a kid I'm trying to remember when I first saw Alien cause like I feel like I watched it like pretty young but it wasn't one of those movies where I saw like a shit ton like Terminator or Jurassic Park or anything but yeah I remember like Lambert? like damn yeah, that was fucked up like when he uh, when they find out that he's a synthetic and he like turns on Ripley and shit he fucking tries to suffocate her with a magazine or some shit 
And then uh, Yafik Koda hits him with a with a fucking uh, I don't know fire extinguisher or whatever. Or whatever. Uh, oh yeah, Lambert's like trying to get him off of her. And he's like, "Boo, bitch!" <laughs> She's just in the way. She's fucking useless, like I said. And yeah, he like whacks him over the head, and like his fucking head's hanging off. That kind of like ex- inspired James Cameron too. I feel like I feel like the look of this movie, especially towards the end, really inspired like James Cameron also. With like the fucking yellow police lights and shit, and the blue, the cool lighting. Yeah, I was going to say, I kind of feel like this is, like, some directors, I feel like they have their Star Wars, kind of, like, I would say, like, Jurassic Park is, like, Spielberg's Star Wars, where it's, like, a story where there's these characters, and then you have, like, logos and, like, vehicles and, you know, just fucking toy lines, like, I feel like Alien was Ridley Scott's, but then, like, James Cameron kind of took it further with like the the weapons and shit uh, <clears throat> beyond just the flamethrower <laughs> the pulse rifle and shit so uh, yeah them combined kind of kind of made Alien like fully realized in that way I think I remember like not realizing what the space jockey was when I first saw it, like it kind of just like blew past me that that was like an alien or some shit, <laughs> you know. But yeah, that's fucked up when uh, John Hurt goes down there and he gets the face hugger on him, and they take it off and it's like fucking bulby breathing and shit on him. That's fucked up. Giggery pervert, the vaginal face hugger. <laughs> Yeah, and the scene where it chest burst was great. I think I read behind the scenes, like, they didn't rehearse it before. They didn't know, like, how much blood. Because there's that great shot, like, the guy's like, ooh, 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 and he's, like, retching and shit. And then, like, it, like, splurts out. And there's that shot of Lambert. She's like, ah, and she gets, like, blood all over. I think that was, like, a real reaction when she got, like, fucked up about it. I guess they hired her because she's, like, just so good at being, like, what the fuck? Like, she's just like, oh, God. <laughs> she's, like, the she's like the mom in Don't Be a Menace when the son dies. And she's like, oh, God. Oh, oh my God. Oh, no, the actual mom from, from uh, Boys in the Hood. She, like, really overdid it. <laughs> and they were making fun of that in Don't Be a Menace. Yeah, I think my favorite death is uh, Harry Dean Stans when he's like uh, fucking standing under like some water and like they never I don't think it actually is like the drool or whatever but it makes you think that it is like at one point he kind of like touches his face but I don't know it's just maybe it's supposed to evoke the drool which is fucked up and he sees the cat (laughs) in the alien fucking uh, snatches his ass and there's a cool shot of the cat just looking like damn that's fucked Get up shit. glad it's not me <laughs> he's like getting off to it in a weird way <laughs> he's like these fucking humans dude fucked everything up I like that it's a fat orange cat too yeah like I said uh, Ian Holmes really good uh Oh yeah, then the scene with Dallas is really cool too. We were just like, he has the motion tracker. And he's like, where the fuck is this thing? And as soon as he's like, I'm getting out of here. She's like, oh, he's right coming right for you. And he's like, oh, what the fuck? And it's crazy because it's like, you're reacting the way he is when you watch it. Where it's like, dude, where can you be? Because it's like, you would see him, you know? But then he fucking move around. He moves around and then he fucking puts a flashlight on him. He's like, wow. <laughs> a surprise alien. Yeah, I like Tom Skerritt from uh, Steel Magnolias. <laughs> but he's pretty good in this, too. It's fucked up. 
I think they say there's like no blood, right? So maybe like, well, I don't know. There's no queen, so I guess they don't like harvest them. But I thought maybe like he would fucking snatch his ass. And then yeah, the scene that this DLC is referencing where fucking they're trying to get the canisters and shit. And it's cool because you see like the shadow, like you see fucking uh what's her face Lambert like react to the shadow and she's like oh shit she's got that oh shit look on her face and then you see the alien and I was like dude fucking blowtorch it but I guess she's in the way he's, he's like get out of the way bitch and uh she's just like oh god she's just fucking <laughs> doing it in his face like I said cringing in his face and then he just fucking like he should have just blasted it and he runs up and gets tail whipped. Yeah, fucking Parker gets fucked up. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention earlier, like, when he's uh, suffocating Ripley. Uh, he's like suffocating her with the magazine and then he like reaches over with the other hand and fucking titty twisters Parker. <laughs> he's like, ah oh, shit. <laughs> that was crazy. Uh, and then the final part too where she's the last survivor and then she gets in the escape pod. I remember as a kid too thinking like, damn a fucking another one, like she still can't outrun him. But uh, yeah, it was crazy dude. She gets down in her panties and shit. <laughs> Isn't there like a, supposedly there's Bush in like the real version or some shit, I don't know. Oh, lean back. <laughs> She's pretty hot, but she she got no ass though. She fucking leans over to like press a button or some shit, and like the Zeno's head is like blended into the to the controls and shit, which is pretty cool. But he like reaches out and, and like jump scares her. But I guess he was like sleepy, like just waking up or some shit, because you would think that he would just get up and fucking kill her right away. But he takes a while. But I thought that's like a cool scare. It's like fucking seeing a roach like blend into the floor or some shit and it moves and you're like what the fuck see it out of the corner of your eye and yeah they, they, like her panties are loose too cause like her hips are like really narrow so, and there's a scene where she like tries to hide in like a spacesuit, and she fucking like lifts her leg over <laughs> you know, like a full like crotch shot there I mean I'm not complaining was this uh Halloween was like before this wasn't it by like by like a year or some shit because the ending kind of felt like halloween too where the, she's like jamie lee's like hiding in the closet and shit yeah dude halloween was a year before so i mean i feel like that had an influence on this too even though like um maybe not in like the script but like maybe some visual stuff if it came out in 78 they would have been filming but man you know Maybe Ridley saw it and shit. He got a print. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, another part I forgot to mention from that scene where uh, Ian Holm turns on the fucking... Uh, what's the name of the movie? Uh, oh, Ash. Yeah. Um, yeah, like I said, as a kid, the fucked up part was like after like Yafakota hits him he's like uh they have like a like a dummy head and then like his arms are like fucking flailing Ian Holmes arms I imagine that's him it's gotta be cause he would want you know his body in the performance I guess but then they flip it and they have like a fake body and like his real head in there <laughs> and it's a pretty cool scene where he, he like they talk about Oh, he, he, he calls it the perfect organism. And at the end, he's like, you have my sympathies, which is a funny line. And he smiles before they fucking shut him off, and then it cuts to, like, a ugly-ass dummy head. <laughs> like, a weird smile. Looks like the Joker, Jack Nicholson Joker. Oh, yeah, I was wondering, like, what is Mother actually? Is it, like, an AI, or, like... Or is it, like, someone at Waylon Yutani, like... Cause they're like typing to it and talking to it and shit. 
And it's cool, like, when she's like, I'll get my own answers. I got access to mother after Dallas died. And uh, she asks the questions and shit, and it has the, the Nostromo rerouted, priority, bring home the alien, crew expendable. <laughs> and it's like, oh, fuck, dude. And that's when that scene starts with Ash. I like that, uh, because, like, Ash is, like, revealed as she, like, leans back in her chair. I like that she doesn't get jump scared, you know? She's, like, a fucking badass. <laughs> she just gets pissed. And there's, like, a scene earlier when they're first, like, after it's just the three of them left and they're all arguing about, like, just trying to leave right away or whatever. And he's, like, telling, uh, she's, like, telling Parker, just shut up, <laughs> quiet or whatever. Like, damn. I wouldn't fly today, a white woman yelling at a black dude to shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh yeah, and then about the chest burster, it's funny when he like fucking looks around and shit before he walks off. The infamous scene that was uh, in Spaceballs, where he's like doing the fucking Michigan J Frog. Hello my honey, hello my baby, hello my ragdoll girl. <laughs> oh, that shit was funny. But yeah, that's a great scene too. But then yeah, that's pretty much the movie. And then at the end, she like has the cat and goes to sleep and shit. And the credits, you have like the fucking I, don't know. I was about to say waiting room music, save room music, like Resident Evil style, like low key. I think it's just like a variation on that that theme I was talking about earlier. But yeah, it's pretty awesome. My Alien, it's like a... You know, it's one of those movies that I like it more every time I see it. Because I remember, like, I think I hadn't seen it in a long time from when I was, like, younger to, like, maybe in my teens. And I kind of, like, wasn't at it as impressed then. But I think just... It's like, you know, age is like wine. Like, it's only... It's only more uh, impressive what they did back then. So yeah, good shit, Ridley. Got a lifetime pass for that shit. <laughs> for real. <laughs> Please work. Thank you. It's too hard. <laughs> I don't know what you're supposed to press. Alright, we're gonna play this shit on novice. Fuck it. I just wanna see like what you're supposed to do. chances in the shuttle good we're gonna need coolant for the air support system Parker I powered up the shuttle have you got those coolant tanks ready we're doing it you want to give us a hand down here oh my god supposed to make rounds or some shit. Maybe I wasn't doing that.
This shit actually is pretty scary when he like finds me. Please work. What the difference is like he just doesn't hear you as much I imagine if he's standing right in front of him he'll see You can see it like going around the corners and shit. Still in there. This. I can see you do it. Fucking climb, dude. Should I forget? <laughs> Shit's fucked up even on easy.
this isn't where you go. Oh no, he's turning around. came back. You can't play this shit on hard until you know like the layout pretty well.
Come on, Ridley. Dude, where the fuck? How are you supposed to get over there? I go back upstairs. back upstairs. be through here soon. Dude, I fucking died on Nava. <laughs> Alright, fuck this shit, dude. I don't know where to go.
door. Shit's mad claustrophobic. Like sign a hill, you gotta check your map every two seconds. This way. Flip the fucking oh <laughs> press the uh, X to reload. Okay. Aren't I in here? Oh.
This one seems harder than the other DLC to do on Nightmare. I remember doing the other one took me forever. I ain't got time for that shit now. <laughs> Fingering it. Can he attack you while you're doing this shit? <laughs> Animation. <clears throat> She's taking her sweet time. Why did she screw it like that? Okay, this is it. Damn, you gotta go all the way back.
the inner shore bush. Final report of the commercial starship Nostromo. Oh, that's a <laughs> Third officer reporting. The other members of the crew. Kane, Lambert, Parker, Brett. Yeah, it seems harder than the other Ash, DLC because you have to like Captain run Dad, all the way across and run back and like if you're not familiar with every corridor. I should it's reach like, the front. Especially for me, it's weeks. easy to get confused with where the fuck luck, you are. The network will pick me up. The other one I think was more fun and more okay. scary. Last survivor of the Nostromo. Yeah, I couldn't I do this shit on Nightmare. I was fucked up. Paid her fucking to do like ten lines or less. <clears throat> All right, that was totally worth it. <laughs> this game is pretty cool though. But fucking alien is scary when he catches you. This shit never gets not scary. Fucked up. Isn't there a way to see her character model? On this one, because I think you get to pick between her and Dallas. Attention to detail is pretty good. <laughs> he gets through down to the main airlock. He gets to go into the bed. Oh, there she is. Wow, her face. She doesn't look quite as good as I remember. <laughs> Face is a little fucked up. I remember at the time though, it looked pretty good. <laughs> oh, you can pick uh, all of them? Parker, whoa. I don't remember that because I just picked it out. <laughs> Alright, nice, good shit.